Hey, Bill, why don't we sidetrack to the saloon? After a month of fighting those damn Indians, a little drink ought to put us right. Yeah, well, first we go to the post office and telegraph command if we finished our assignment. Those Indians are at peace, at least for the moment. Now, except for the Algonquins, we're all right. Anyway, they'll be glad to know we got the gun runners temporarily out of business. Business before pleasure. I do you think we ought to hang the general thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> Freezer, I'll blow your heads off. Well, well, look who's here. <laughs> it's good old Corporal Cormack. I know who it is. Let's grab the money and get out of here. Did you know you're the most hated red coat in Canada? <laughs> what is it they call you, Cormack? Cormack the Hunter, isn't that right? I hope you haven't forgotten my face, Cormack the Hunter. A lot of years have gone by, haven't they, since the Plymouth County Wars? Yeah. You're Logan. You used to be in Caribou's gang. You always did have something against old Caribou, didn't you? Now, I'm the one who got caught, though. And he got away. Can it get you good, though? Huh? He didn't get away. I caught him three months later. And you probably enjoyed hunting him every minute, didn't you? I'll bet you had a good laugh when you brought him in. I did five years in prison thanks to you. Go. Caribou will be sending you to me, Cormac. Caribou's serving a life sentence. The only way he's gonna get out is when God takes him out. A hell of a lot you know. It happens that three days ago he escaped. He swore he'd get even with you. Now, Cormac, you'll be the hunted instead of the hunter. Escape Monday. I'm being transferred to Dawson Creek. We better get to headquarters. I thought you sent your son a telegraph saying we'd be seeing him tomorrow. It's been a long time since Jimmy's seen you, Bill. If we ride hard, we could be at headquarters day after tomorrow. Sorry, but Jimmy will have to wait. How come you're in such a damn hurry to catch this caribou anyway? Look, Bill, you know they're expecting you can't disappoint Jimmy. We better get moving. And I don't think for one second you're only interested in my son, Mondo. <laughs> man to find she know her. she's a good woman she likes jimmy and that saves me a lot of worry when i'm gone well, i think a lot of her too i'm glad you two like each other andy she's raised my son like she would her own we stay tomorrow and that's all then we start the hunt i want to put caribou away for good this time me and no one else look bill do you mind if i ask you something no go ahead there's always been some kind of strange war going on between you two. How did it all begin, anyway? This is Jimmy's mother. Jimmy was only two when she died. She was a singer. One of the best in Canada. Old Elizabeth? Don't move. Now, a big smile. Ready? Now, hold it. That's it. Good. Don't move. Photography, the true art, ladies and gentlemen. Now then, hold the pose. Perfect. 
from the negative, I'll make hundreds of copies, yes, even thousands. Elizabeth Delwis, the Nightingale of Canada. Yes, sir, dear girl, the world awaits your song. I promise you the greatest publicity campaign of our times. And beginning tomorrow... Beginning I'll... tomorrow, nothing. As of tomorrow, you'll sing only for me. Right, my darling? Yes, but I'm afraid I can't. Willis has already signed a contract. Uh, the picture, then. What do you want me to do? Shall I print it or not? Print it. Yes, sir. Well, she's here. Yes, sir. One copy, that's all. And when you're finished, <laughs> destroy the plate. Yes, Elizabeth, do you realize what you're doing? You'll ruin your career if you stay with him. We have contracts signed for all of Canada. Then I've got you booked for the state. You're going to be famous. Please think of your career, Elizabeth. What? <laughs> There's more to life, you know. I am afraid you have to make a choice, Elizabeth. Willis? Or me? I don't want to influence your decision in any way, Elizabeth. But on the other hand, I feel it's my duty to remind you you're throwing away an opportunity to fulfill yourself as a woman. Perhaps the only such opportunity you'll have in your lifetime. Willis. I... I don't know if you can understand what I feel inside me. Yes, I know. I owe you more than I can say. But I love him. Even if I'm making a mistake. Hold it right there. Get your hands up. Caribou! <laughs> you rascal, I know you too well to fall for that. It's been a long time. Wow. They got you dressed to kiss. Shh. The captain will hear you. You wrote me you were coming a couple of weeks ago. What kept you so long? Listen, I'd like to introduce you to the most beautiful girl in the world. The woman who's going to make a serious man out of me. A serious man out of you? I'd like to see that. Elizabeth, this is Bill Cormick. I thought you'd be a lot younger. Caribou told me all about you. You can't imagine how he described you to me. Seems like a couple of centuries have gone since we went trout fishing. But hey, remember the good times we used to have in the woods, huh? I Those had to catch all the fish. All you did was eat them. <laughs> yeah. All right, you two. How about a nice kiss? Come on. <laughs> Cheers. Well, tell me, Bill. What have you been doing all these years? Besides running around dressed up in that funny red suit. I don't know if I ought to tell you. Why not? I'm a broad-minded fellow, you know that. Well, it's something you're not going to like very much. Something I don't like, it was bound to happen. <laughs> What'd you do, kill somebody? I've been studying. Studying? In a school? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always said you had a little something missing up here, old buddy. <laughs> studying in school. You're mad. Listen, Caribou, tell me about yourself. Like what? What you've done, what you're doing now. I have noticed you're dressing better. You look good. Yes. Well, um, you know that game you play with 52 pieces of cardboard? Poker. That's it. I don't mind telling you that uh, that's the way I make my living. Pretty good one, too. Lady Luck has been kind to me. Even though, to tell you the truth, I don't really like the life. Oh, I guess I've done all right. Only I've never earned an honest dollar. And now that Elizabeth is with me, I'm going to change my life completely. I'm going to look for work. She's the most extraordinary girl in the world. And she's beautiful. An angel. And you should hear her sing. She sings like a... Like, like, a, an, like an angel. And just for you, huh? <laughs> He's always joking. <laughs> joking? Who's joking? Show Bill how well you can sing. Come on. Here? Oh, no, I'd be embarrassed. Not here. I said sing. It doesn't matter, Caribou. Elizabeth is probably feeling pretty tired. Uh, yes. We've got plenty of time on our hands, so it doesn't matter. We can wait until tomorrow, can't we? Don't ever count on having time on your hands. Elizabeth, I'm certain you want to sing. No, please, darling. No. I said sing. Don't be stupid. Sing. Day after day, night after night, I wait for you, only for you, but it's only a dream.
I don't need any of your sermons either. You can walk around and play God just because you're dressed like a clown. Take it easy. Come on, play cards. No, don't. Please take me home. Just get her out of here. I raise it 20. I'll call. About a year passed. Caribou kept getting deeper and deeper into debt. He started seeing other women, mostly tramps. He was drinking too much, and he couldn't seem to find that lucky streak. So he started cheating. What about Elizabeth? Did he leave her? No, she was the one who earned the money to keep them alive. I think she stayed on with Caribou out of pity. Whatever love they'd had between them had long since died. What about you, Bill? Oh, by now I'd given up on him. I tried to help Elizabeth as much as possible, and I guess we became pretty close friends. But after a while, it ceased to be just a friendship. We started falling in love. I knew that sooner or later, Caribou would find out and that there'd be hell to pay. And then one night... a bad man. I know he's impulsive, maybe even violent, but he's not bad. I know. I know, Elizabeth, but I've known him a long time, and I've always known there was something wrong, something he always hid. I don't know, some kind of drive to be self-destructive. <laughs> You've got to go, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Elizabeth, there's nothing to keep you here any longer. No, Bill. I can't go away right now. I can't leave. I can't give everything up now. You'd really wait for him? Not only for him, Bill. Call me! Call the 
right there. You can't take the law into your own hands. What's the matter with you people? This is his mind, do you hear? If this man's going to die, it's going to be legal. You men go on home. Let the law take care of this. Go on. Clear the streets. Thanks, Bill. If you hadn't come along when you did, they'd have torn me apart, those bastards. I'm awfully sorry that you had to get mixed up in this lousy mess. I'm only mixed up in it because I served the law. There's no way I can help you out of this. I hope you understand. Sure, I know. Hold it. Don't try it. I'd sure hate to be the one to blow your head off, Bill. I always did manage to fool you. <laughs> yeah, and that's the last time you'll get away with it. I'm not giving you any more chances. Turn around, Bill. Turn around if you don't want to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we'll go to Yucatan. We can't waste any time. I know at least five people who take this call without asking us any questions. We'll see which one of them offers us the most. This will buy us a hell of a lot of dollars, Wolf. I promise you we'll be living well for a long time. Let's divide it. One for each of us. I knew you weren't sleeping. I just wanted to... Sure, I know. You'd like us to split it, right? Well, then, give me my share. charm that was given to me by an Indian medicine man. It contains magic herbs that, that have the, the power to bring back a lost smile. And I hope it can bring back to you all the happiness you deserve, Elizabeth. 
It must be working. I feel better already. Elizabeth, I'm glad you're happy. And I'm happy because you're here. <laughs> well, then. Well, well. How sweet. Having a little party in my honor. You know what it is. Today is my birthday. Oh, that's nice. I was all alone, so I asked Bill to come. Oh. He's the only friend I have in this town. I sincerely hope that I can consider him my friend as well as yours. I see that he's been taking my place at the table. <laughs> what should I do? Ask your permission to sit? Don't be absurd. All I want is for Elizabeth to be happy. She deserves more out of life than this. You mean me? Yes, especially you. It was unfortunate she ever met you. You've given her nothing but anguish. You shouldn't have come back. As usual, you're wrong. From now on, things are going to be different. You're going to be happy with me. I'm rich. We're going to leave Canada and go to the United States. Yeah, with the Mounties right on your back. Why don't you surrender, Caribou, and make things easier on all of us? You committed murder and jail's the only place for you. Well... That's fine for you to say, Bill. But as for me, I'm not ready for jail. Everything always works out well for me in the end. No. Not this time it won't. This time your luck's run out. Hey, what are you trying to do, change my luck? I'm a superstitious gambler. You're liable to make me angry. We wouldn't want that now, would we? I love you. You risked everything once, it's worth it to do it again. You have to choose, Elizabeth. One or the other. Either me or him. I'm not kidding. No, Caribou. I can't. Get out of here. So it's like that. You're in love with this clown. Okay, I'll go. And you'll follow me whether you like it or not. Get ready. Ah! Oh. Just a minute, Donovan. Take this envelope. It contains the new charges against him. Wait a second. I've got a few words to say to Corporal Cormack. Don't think this is going to be the end. One day I'll be looking for you, and I swear to God, I'll kill you, Bill. After a while, Elizabeth and I were married. And when Jimmy was born, he brought a whole new happiness into our lives. And when Elizabeth died, it was a hard blow to take. It changed my outlook. I lost my appetite for life. I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care about anything or anyone. I was the hunter. Caribou told me he'd kill me if it was the last thing he did. Now Caribou's escaped. You should have killed him long ago. No. No, I couldn't do it. What was stopping you? of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace.
coming today? Pop's coming. <coughs> hey, that's good news, isn't it? And she knows glad. Because Andy's going to come too, isn't that right? Isn't it? No, Jean, don't start talking about Andy. She knows it's in love. Come on, King, we got to keep away from her. It's coming. <coughs> trail for a while. They're headed north. Shinoa, are you sure of that description? Yes, I'm sure. I won't ever forget him. Never. He was like a devil escaped from hell. Jimmy cried out for help. All it was impossible. It's caribou, I'm sure of it. Why is he taking it out on the boy? Because he knows I'll start looking, and he's relying on that. Corporal, have you any idea where to look? The only thing I know, sir, is that they're headed north. That's a large area, and I can't give you more than four redcoats. According to reports I've heard, the Algonquins are out on the warpath against a bad situation. We have an enormous amount of territory to control. It's taking every man I've got. We'll just have to make do, then. I'm certain the men I've chosen will be sufficient, sir. Good. Off you go, then, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, sir. Corporal, be careful. Caribou knows that territory like the palm of his hand. He'll have some sort of trap ready for you. I know that. I just hope he doesn't take too much time to spring it. Don't worry, King. I'll have him home before you know it. You get well, you hear? You get well because I'm bringing Jimmy home.
Stay close to him, Andy. The hunter is very strong, but the wolf can go crazy when there is danger to its cub. Come here, King. Seems to me we've come too far up north. He's leading us to the mountains where he'll have us at a disadvantage. It's going to be like looking for a ghost. The greatest tracker alive couldn't find him up in those mountains. We're not going to have to find him, because sooner or later he's going to find us. Could be, but how long do you think it'll take him to do it? When Caribou figures he's tormented me long enough, he'll come out of his hole. And when he's in a position to kill me without taking any risks. Is there something else going on? All this hatred over one woman... No I... more questions, Andy. Tell Robson to take the first watch. I'm going to get some sleep. Caribou escaped from prison. Yeah, I know. We got the news. Did you know he kidnapped Cormac's kid the other day? That damned idiot's gone off his rocker. The man's screwy. Escapes from prison just to get Cormac on his trail. The guy's crazy. Jesus, we damn well better find him before Cormac. I'll kiss goodbye to the gold. Where could he have gone? He's gone where he's hidden the gold. What better place to hide out? Yeah, that's where he go. And I got a good idea where it is, so we go after him. Yeah, and the Red Coast are also looking for him. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Do our dirty work for us. They'll find him sooner or later. All we got to do is stay behind him. We could use a couple more hands to help out. I know five or six guys I could bring in. Uh, we'll take Caribou just before they do. It's only Cormac I'm worried about. That bastard. He's more dangerous than any one of those damn redcoats. I'll assign all of you some kind of a lookout post. Padre Bill Cormac, ti ucciderà. Perché hai sparato a Book? Book? Sì. Hai ammazzato il mio cane. Ti ucciderei io se potessi. Sei coraggioso, stupido ma coraggioso. My father's gonna find you, you know that? Good. You must really love your father. Sure I do. And your mother? My mother. My mother died a long time ago.
You look like your mother, boy. Sorry about your dog. The snow's hardened, so the dogs couldn't leave any tracks. Taking a rough guess, I'd say we're about three to six hours behind. Sure it's him? I'm pretty sure a trapper would be headed south with his skins. He'd be going to Dawson to do his trading. Well, that'd be the nearest place. He's carrying weight, and he's headed north toward the hills. He's not loaded with furs, and he's carrying something else. Corporal, I could have swore I just saw something strange moving around up on that ridge there. Might have been a wolf gone now. The snow looks too deep for horses. Andy, you and the others dismount. Put on your snowshoes and check it out. We go from here on foot. Stone will keep on this trail and bring up the horses. And we'll join him on the other side. I'm going to stay here for a while in case someone's following us. We've been so busy keeping our eyes on the trail ahead of us, we forgot about our backs. All right, boys, move it out. there and drop the rifle. You're Carmack the Hunter, aren't you? I said drop the rifle. I might not kill you if you talk, but don't get me mad. Who are you? I asked you a question. We knew you were after Caribou. We wanted to find him before you did. Who's we? Wolf's gang. Terrible ran off and hit all the gold. He did it before he went to prison. Where did he go with it? North, on the other side of the mountains. Più o meno la zona è quella, ne siamo sicuri. Ma il punto preciso lo conosce solo a lui.
Damn it, talk! Was it him? Where did he go? Which direction? Damn it, talk to me! You let him shoot you, you idiot! Now we'll have the redcoats after us! Talk to me, damn you! Where did he go? You're wasting your breath, Wolf. He's dead. I know he's dead, idiot. So bury him. Lasciami! Lasciami, vigliaco! Vieni qui. Don't do that again. shoot a wound. It's possible he ain't got the gold yet. Terrible! All we want is the gold. Hand it over and we'll let you go free. The gold's with me. You want it? Come and get it. We'll divide equally. It doesn't make sense for old friends to kill each other off. What the hell are you doing, idiot? Stop! Open fire! Andy, head for Fort Peace with the wounded. I'll take care of the rest of this alone. No, I'm coming with you. Stone will take care of burying Jackson and get the others to Fort Peace. Don't start giving me orders or I'll resign. The snow is getting deeper every day. Our best bet is to take the bandit's sleigh. That way we might be able to keep up with Caribou. Oh! 
Get up here. You've got to go first. And don't you try to escape either, you hear? That cold will freeze you to death if I don't take care of you first. to a tree. Hurry. Well, let's go. Come on. Let's get the sleigh up, okay? Oh. I didn't find anyone who helped me. I guess I could find someone who would. You plan on waiting here for Caribou? Well, those redcoats wiped out nearly every man I had. This is the only place he can come on the northern trails where he can restock supplies. He'll show. He's got to pass before he goes anywhere else. What about the hunter? Like I was saying, I'm sure the hunter would have thought of that, too. I expect that. And this time, they get caribou for us. Then it's best you don't show your face around. You don't want him to recognize you. No. Cormac only knows my name. He doesn't know what I look like. I'll be all right. The boys are going to be doing enough squawking once they know they got to go up against caribou. You can imagine what they're going to say when I tell them they got to go up against Cormac. I'm telling you, I don't think anybody will do it. And I tell you, they will. They don't have to know a damn thing about Cormac. No one even knows he's around.
Take it away. How is he? Indian medicine no work on, boy. The snow burns inside. Maybe doctor of white man. White man's medicine might give strength and life. Papa. 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 Okay, Bill, I put the sled away and all the dogs are bedded down. Good. I'm going to headquarters. Wait for me at the saloon. See if you can get some information on Caribou. And have a drink while you're at it. Double whiskey. Hey, Kurt, how'd it go? Pam mm. DeVere was this high. Get away. Could have got a good $40 for that skin. Hey, friend, what area were you hunting in? Up around the Yukon Territory. Only two things stay alive up there. Wolves and hunters. You'll never see a Mountie up there, that's for sure. Have any of you seen or heard of a man with a sled in that area who had a boy with him? They're on their way north. What the hell would anybody want to take a kid into that wilderness where they'd die sure as hell? Well, it could be. He's escaping from the law. Thanks, anyway. Anytime. And then again, he could be looking for gold. A little prospector told me once that some kids get this magic nose and they can smell out the nuggets. Magic nose? No way, son. Only two ways to get gold. One's to dig for it. What are you doing in there? Hell wrecked those two men of a ride. And to get to the saloon as quick as he can. Well, Wolf, I'm giving the dog a bath. You know how nervous he gets. If I don't stay with him, he's liable to go all to pieces. You hey, idiot. Get out of there, you hear? Or I'll pull you out. Unless you're out of there in one minute, your dog isn't going to be the only one to go all to pieces. Now, get, get gone. gone. We were born to suffer, my friend. So you're the famous Corporal Cormac. It might please you to know that I'm well aware of your way of doing things. I expect discipline in my command, Corporal. I hope you don't forget that. As for the information you want, I'm sorry. We know nothing about any man traveling with a child in this area. This city is like a seaport. It's very difficult to check everyone who passes in and out. Thanks anyway, Lieutenant. I would like permission to remain in town and continue the investigation. Permission granted. Uh, mind if I have a look at your records? Go right ahead, Cop. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. It's only monkey, a small time. <laughs> Just a little operation he requires, that's all. Nothing serious. Excuse me, Captain. You got any alcohol? Yes, I think there's some around here. I've just finished my yes, flask. Yes. If I don't keep on disinfecting, it could be dangerous. And would you try not to use it all up, if you don't mind? It's my last bottle. I'll try, but monkey's ass soaks it up like a sponge. Mm-hmm. He's the one who absorbs it like a sponge. I only put up with him because he's the only doctor we've got, unless you count the vet, and he smokes opium. I don't envy him. What's the matter with the man? Oh, nothing important. Just stole some chickens, rabbits, things like that. He always does, only he made the mistake of stealing from the good doctor who blasted him with a load of buckshot, and now he's taking the damn stuff out. <laughs> Oh, we're dug, we can take any more. Pains if I don't pull them out, we risk the danger of infection. You should have thought twice before you got yourself shot in the behind like this, my dear monkey. But you were the one who loaded a buckshot in my ass. Who told you to come stealing my rabbits anyway? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my dear monkey. I didn't read it. But it's your fault. I'll tell you what I'll do, Doc. I'll eat only vegetables, okay? No more rabbits, no more... Swear to it, monkey, swear to it. Oh, I know, I know, right out of my mouth. Ah! 
Read this, Corporal. It concerns you. They've assigned me another platoon to work with. Says they'll be here tomorrow. Evidently, they don't have much faith in my detachment. It's possible. Well, Doctor, is he dead yet? Uh, he'll be fine when he can sit down again. I, you can even let him go. I think he's got that little habit out of the system for a while. I should hope so. But what about your little habit, Doctor? Oh, yeah, the empty bottle. Permit me, Dr. Higgins. Bill Cormack. Sergeant Cormack, my goodness, it's nice to meet you personally. I've heard a lot about you. What are you doing here? He's looking for an outlaw who kidnapped a small child and is believed to be I'm sure the doctor isn't the least interested in my mission. Yeah, I understand. Well, I hope you find him quickly and all that. Well, goodbye. And thanks for the disinfectant. The lieutenant, I'd rather not have it known what I'm doing in town. You see, this child is very important to me. Hey, you. Are you the doctor in this town? Unfortunately. Excuse me. I happened to overhear a question you asked a while ago. You're looking for a man with a little boy, right? Why, you know something about me? No, I'm sorry. But I know this area about as well as anybody. And I'm good friends with the prospectors and most all the hunters. And, uh, can I sit down? Yeah, sure thing. Go right ahead. My name is Webster. John Webster. And as I was saying, anything new goes on here, well, I'm usually the first to know it. Though I just might be able to help. What area do you think that guy might be moving around in? Well, that's a long story. I'm not sure exactly where to start or how much I ought to say. The uh, corporal will fill you in if he thinks it's a good idea. Here he comes now. <laughs> Bill, this is Mr. Webster. He says he might be able to help us. How are you, Corporal? You see, I could spread the word around. Anybody should hear. If you receive any information we can use, that'd be helpful. Otherwise, thanks all the same. How am I supposed to help you if you don't tell me who the hell this guy is anyway? I'm ready to do whatever you ask. Mr. Webster, why are you so anxious to assist us? I'll tell you. When I was a youngster, my dream was that someday I could grow up and be a Mountie. Wolf. I got the men you wanted. What's wrong? I don't like double crosses. out of here. Take him to the jail. Hey, you put him down there. You take him to the jail. Look, friend, if you don't start carrying that man over to the jail, there's a chance that you just might end up where he is. Don't mess with that guy. You know who he is, the hunter. We'll take him over. The little weasel got away. I'm sorry, Bill. Oh, we can take care of him later. The important thing is we got Wolf out of the way. It was his gang that was chasing Caribou. Thanks a lot. Watch out, Lieutenant, because his men are still in circulation. Don't worry about him, Corporal. The only way he'll get out of here is when we take him to the penitentiary. Well, for tonight, I think I'd better leave Andy here with him. Just in Corporal, case... Corporal, this is not your headquarters to command. I give the orders here and nobody else. 
I was just trying to help out, that's all. I hope I'm clear when I tell you I'm not in need of your assistance. I think that's all. You may go, Corporal. Don't let him get to you, Bill. He's just pulling rank. Like they all do. Let's have a look around first, and then we'll find a place for the night. It's diphtheria. Is it serious? The pus is... Locking his windpipe and stopping his breathing. If it clogs completely, he'll suffocate to death. Can you save him? I'll have to operate on him. I gotta cut a hole in his windpipe so he can breathe, clean out all the infected stuff, and trust God. We gotta take him to town immediately to an infirmary. No. You're gonna have to operate on him here. But... Now, get on with the operation, Doc. It's very dangerous. This is a contagious disease, and you could... Get a move on, you hear, Doc? Okay, but you'll have to help me. All right. Who knows? You might even get infected. I'd operate on you with the greatest of pleasure right afterwards. Uh, pour me some water and get me some alcohol. Whatever you say. Thank you. Here you are. I could use a barrel of this. Now you're going to sleep and you won't feel a thing. Don't worry, kid, you'll be all right. Breathe deeply. That's the way. Hold his head still. He mustn't move at all. See my way. Hey, where do you think you're going? Please leave me alone. You're not so bad looking, all right, Carter? <laughs> Even though you do stink like an Indian, still she's a lousy Indian. Maybe so, but at least she looks clean. Come here, you lovely creature. No, let me go. Big help! <laughs> Carter, Jesus, do something! Seems like we got us a little show. I say, ten of one, dogs to win it. That man attacked me. Luckily for me, King came to my rescue before he could hurt me. He's gone now. You tell me, though, if you see him again. I'm all right. The man didn't hurt me. Anyway, I couldn't recognize him again. All right, that's all, folks. The fun's over. Now go back to whatever it was you've been doing. Atta boy, King. Good job. Well done. Is that dog yours, Frank? Yeah, he's mine. How would you like to sell him? Give your own price. If he was your dog, would you sell him? I guess not. Let's go. Come on, we'll get something to eat. Shinoa must be starving after a trip. (sighs) 
The boy is no longer in any danger. The swelling in his throat has gone down and the breathing's normal. And the fever's less, too. Now the scar has to heal. It's incredible how much vitality children have. It's kind of miraculous. Nature defends life as it develops in every way, but unfortunately can't foresee all the dangers. possible to go. Your son is well, white man. There's nothing more to be done. The only thing that makes sense now is to wait. You should be getting some rest. You two go on. I don't think I could sleep now. Let's go, Shinoa. Here are the pills you must give the boy every six hours. They'll help to keep his fever down. You can give him the pills yourself, doctor. Or are you thinking of leaving? No, I'm not in any hurry to go. The boy might still need me. And besides, I might have to do another operation, right? Funny. days. All this gold is yours. You deserve it. I'm not sure it would have done me any good anyhow. Here, it's the middle of the night, old timer. An ogies like you ought to be home in bed. Look at you, you're so souped you can hardly keep upright. Upright, up wrong. What's the difference? Just so long as you're up. <laughs> for your information, I can stand up on one leg for three days. Three whole days. One leg only. Watch. You young snips don't know what you're doing these days. Let's see you do it. There's a cinch for me to do it. Watch. <laughs> Let's get him on his feet. Come on, you old coat. <laughs> Shh. Tell him to open the door, you're dead. 
Who is it? Tell him Corporal Corbeck's coming in to open the door. Sir, it's Cormac. It's all right to open. One moment. What's the matter? The boy is in an Indian tent no longer than I was right from here. He was sick. I had to operate on him. Jimmy, an operation? Why? He has diphtheria. If I didn't operate on him, he'd die. He's okay now. He's out of danger. Get the horses. Let's go. I'll show you the way. It's all right. I know the way. Follow the road to the river. The Indian tent is on top of the first hill. Thanks, doctor. He looks like he's going crazy. No, Cormac is his father. Where's he gone? He's waiting for you. Expecting you. And you don't know how long I've been thinking of this. All right, 
and untie Jimmy. We'll battle this out, you and me. Between you and me, huh? You know, I ain't no gentleman. I got no honor to defend. You realize I could blast you right now? Why should I take the risk of fighting you? It's the way you're made. You're right. It'd be a pleasure to get my hands around your throat. Bill, why don't I blast him now? He'd be an easy target. I couldn't miss him from this distance. Throw it on your rifle, Andy. It's up to me to do it. But why? Let me shoot him and finish it. He's my brother. Tell him to throw his rifle down. And you start moving forward. Like the good old days, huh, little brother? Remember how we used to fight when we were kids? Yeah, but then it was a game. Sure, it was a game, and I was the best. Caribou, I never thought you'd stoop to anything so low as to kidnap my boy. Hey, tu, Aldo. No miro más ti la donna. Elizabeth e io ci amavamo. No! Ti ucciderò, Billy. Giuro che ti ucciderò. You heard, give him the gold. Or I'll blow your damn head off. I haven't got it. It's hidden. You won't kill me and you know it. No caribou, no gold, and no Jimmy. <laughs> you rotten bastard. I'll blow you straight to hell if anything happens to my boy. is hidden. Only Caribou knows where. You untie the kid, and I'll hand Caribou over to you. That sounds good. Send up our friend Caribou, and I'll send the boy down. Bert! Start marching. Start marching! Follow the kid down. As soon as you move in close to Cormac, I want you to blast the bastard. He won't shoot because he's afraid of hitting his kid. Go on. You as much as move your ears wrong, and I'll blow your head off. Keep your eye on that fellow that's bringing your son down, Bill. A little brotherly advice.
Jimmy out of here. Go on, we'll keep you covered. Go on. Keep shooting. Try to get us around it. that you keep out of trouble. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for everything you've tried to do. Say goodbye to Jimmy. He looks so much like Elizabeth. Tell him I wasn't all that bad. You'll be able to tell him yourself, Caribou. Yeah, sure. I can do that. When we get to the house. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> 